Welcome back, guys, to another short online tutorial. As always, it's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics, one of the tutors. And I'm here today, guys, to show you how to create a clipping mask within Illustrator to create a quite a cool effect. Clipping masks are, are used across multiple softwares. And what I'd like to do today is make it a little bit clearer for you within Illustrator and how we can use and create an effect like so. Okay. What I've got here is a file of vector brushes that I've downloaded from um, FreePick. Okay, these are just certain elements that I can use here that look like brush strokes. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I want to create an artboard for me. So I'm going to use our artboard tool here. And let's create a nice artboard for me. Like so. Okay, so what I need to do now is I'm going to need to build my uh, clipping mask. So let's say, for instance, I do something like so and i'm resizing when i'm rotating here i'm pressing shift because i want to keep it nice with the rotations maybe 15 degrees and when i'm resizing i'm pressing shift to be uh proportionate and at the same time pressing option on mac or alt on windows to resize from the middle there okay let's say we put sort of a stroke there let's say perfect and so we put one sort of here and again, press shift when you rotate. Yeah, we'll probably, yeah, so we put it about there, let's say. Nice, we're going to get a little one of these here. Just really build upon this. And there are loads of examples online for you to have a look at and get some ideas from. Because clipping moss are used everywhere. Couple more, let's say, let's say for instance, we do one sort of here, let's say, perfect. And let's show you one more. Let's rotate that. Perfect. And let's say we put something like so. There. Okay. So if I was to select everything here, right, as you can see, I have multiple objects. Now I can't create a clipping mask because you can only create a clipping mask to one element, to one object. So what I'll need to do now is I need to unite all of these into one sole element. And I'm going to do that through our Pathfinder window. So if I go to window and we come right here to Pathfinder. We have many different Pathfinder options, but the one we want to be using is the first one, which is Unite. Perfect. And what I also want to do is I want to make this into a compound shape. So if I come to the little burger icon here on our Pathfinder window, we have the Make compound shape option like so fantastic now let's say for instance i was to now get an image for us to use so i'm going to go to file place and if we was now to go to our downloads here we go and let's say place so what i'm going to do now is draw this over like so wonderful what you may want to do just to be conscious is affect the opacity just so you can line it up where you want to line it up, let's say. Perfect. Okay, so the image needs to be behind uh, the element. Okay, so with that selected, what I'm going to now do is right click, arrange, center back. Perfect. Now what I want to do now is create our clipping mask. Okay, so I'm going to select both the image and what I created earlier. And what I can do now is I can either right click make clipping mask. I can either go to object, clipping mask, make, or as you can see, the shortcut to create a clipping mask is command seven. So if I now was to select both, like so, and press command seven, I'm gonna say yes, this message here. And as you can see, I have now created my clipping mask. If you want to move the clipping mask around like so, you can do that. If we were to go to window layers, you'll notice that we have created a clip group here. Now, what that allows me to do is either manipulate the mask or the image with inside the mask. So if I click the image layer here like so, selecting the little dot there, now I can simply resize the image with inside the mask. Alternatively, 
you can use the mask layer and you can resize the mask to the point of where you want it. Okay, guys, thank you very much for taking the time. If you're interested in finding out more, please visit our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Take a look at our Instagram as well at Blue Sky Graphics UK. Some of our um, amazing work by our really talented students is on there. So have a take. So go there and take a look. Um, and thank you very much, guys. And take care. And I'll see you next time.